Hey guys! In this video, I'll show you how to recover deleted photos and videos on iOS, iPhone, and iPad devices. You will be able to do it with the app Photos Recovery. I'll show you guys the easiest way to download it, and the best part is that it's free and instant. So let me show you guys first that the app works, so as you can see I can open it, and then I just click Recover button and the process will begin. So as you can see, all my deleted photos are back, and I can open them now which is only possible by downloading it the way I will show you guys in this video. All right, so now that I showed you guys the app and that it works, I will now show you guys all how to download the app onto your iOS, iPhone and iPad device very easily and fast. But before I show you guys how to install it, if you're on iOS or a iPhone device, we have to change some settings in our phone really quick before you can download it. So first go into your battery settings and make sure low power mode is turned off. This is very important and can mess up the install if you leave it on. After we get the app, you can revert all your settings back to normal. So don't worry, it's just for the install. Then, after you guys turn off low power mode, go into general settings, then find background app refresh option, and make sure you have it turned on to Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. It cannot be off. If it's off, it can also mess up the install. Okay, anyways guys, we are all good to go and now ready to get our app installed. So what you guys have to do is very simple. On your iOS or Android device, go to this website called rizbuild.com. This site has a bunch of tweaked apps and games that we can download for free without needing a jailbreak or anything complicated. So once you're on the site, go to the search bar on the site and type in Photos Recovery. Now tap the green install button on the site, and now it will start to load. Just wait for it to load to 100%. Now if you're on iOS, once it gets to 100%, it will load something like this. It'll say, do you want to download the configuration profile? Just tap Allow. And then to find it, you're going to go into your settings. And by the way, if you're on Android, your install will be a bit different. And I'll explain that after I'm done explaining the iOS install instructions. Anyways, just go over to your settings on your iPhone. And you should now see a pop-up saying profile download, click that, and just allow it to install. Then it will appear on your home screen as the full app. Once it's on your home screen, go ahead and open the app up. Now, before you're going to be able to use the app, you have to finish by installing the last three plugin files. So you will see something like this pop up. So before you can use the full app, you will have to complete three plugins from the list. Basically, for the app to fully run and load, it needs this, and it is required for the app to work. But it's simple, you just tap the app or plugin and read the instructions and do exactly as it says. Then once you've done one, you go back and do two more because you have to do three for it to count but some of them are really easy like this TikTok one that wants us to just download the app and run it for 30 seconds. Some of them also have different instructions like this Travel Town one Oz, where it wants us to complete a task in the game and get to like a certain level. But whatever plugin file you choose, just make sure you do exactly as the instructions say and do three of them. If you see less than three and only see two or one, then only do two or one, as you can't do $3, and the system will know automatically and still give you access to the APA, so don't worry. Also, guys, if your apps or plugin files look different than mine, like they're different apps or whatever, that's fine as well. It sometimes changes depending on like your location and stuff. But once you complete the instructions of all three, then it will remove this page and the full app will finally load and you can now use it. In this case, we will now have full access to the photos recovery. And then once completed, the app will appear on your home screen of your Android device automatically. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.